Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I told you I love it when you guys email me, chris at perillo.com, and hopefully you know how to spell my name by now. And if you don't, just Google for Chris. You'll find me. I should be the first Chris on Google. At least I am today. Uh, well, uh, Derek McClure emailed me after watching my uh, video about all the gadgets that I was taking with me on my trip to Germany, and I was lamenting the fact that I wasn't sure how I was going to draw power from the the airline. I wasn't sure if I was going to have a power connection for my MacBook, uh, and then even then, uh, you know, not sh not sure how I was going to be able to to charge any device on any kind of flight, not just an international flight. Uh, this is a frustration of mine has been for quite some time, and he recommended something called in-flight power. Now obviously I've got it in my hands for one reason and one reason alone. The in-flight power recharger cable will allow you to power any device by USB using the seat's audio jack. So as long as your seat has an audio jack, and, and most seats do, I'm not saying every seat does, certainly, uh, but most airlines that I've been on uh, do have the option for audio right there inside the seat. And so long as it's actually pushing out some kind of audio, well then you can be pulling in some amount of power. Now of course it's not going to be high power. I could not power a laptop on this, but I could power any type, uh, any type of device that charges uh, or draws power directly by USB, including the iPod, including the PSP. And this is the large reason why I believe that more devices should charge by USB. Well, if not natively, uh, then at least finding an adapter so that it can charge by USB. Uh, that's just, to me, that's just a given. I, I, I can't wait to see the day where USB uh, outlets are alongside the electrical outlets in homes as they're built, uh, just because so many devices that we use uh, rely on USB. In fact, this in-flight power kit, I, I didn't realize it was going to be a kit, comes with an iPod cable. It looks like a, a retract, I don't know if it's retractable, but it's definitely compact. And it comes with a, a mini USB to uh, the, the classic USB uh, connection. Uh, says works with cell phones, smartphones, well anything that goes by USB, iPod, Razer, uh, Blackberry, game players for use with USB power cables. Uh, it, the, and again, the nice thing is, is that it charges through that audio jack. So this is just, I think, just an amazing discovery, an amazing event, invention, and I just feel uh, overjoyed that one of you, Derek, specifically emailed to tell me about this. This is great. This is why I love doing this kind of thing on video. Uh, you know, finding solutions, sharing solutions, sharing ideas, solving problems. This is a massive headache for me. Um, now I've put videos and television shows and movies that I haven't seen in all these months, but I've recorded. Uh, I put them on my PSP and my iPod, or specifically my iPhone. I'm going to now be able to watch them on a 10 hour flight to Germany without worrying about my battery dying because I, 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 I'm pretty sure they're going to have audio options on this plane. I don't think there can be an, I, if it's not illegal, it should be. Watching my own videos, Dudley, please. I don't even have time to record my own videos, let alone watch them. So it's called In Flight Power and it specifically charges by an audio jack. And I suppose any audio jack would do, not just uh, the airplane's audio jack. Uh, yeah, it's got, uh, it's got little icons of an airplane. It looks like a bus, uh, some kind of monorail tram icon thing. Uh, cable will charge itself over several seconds to several minutes depending on the audio input volume and booster batteries. So what, you play Jamiroquai and apparently it works better? Guar? Guar works better than, oh, if you if, if the radio's playing Britney Spears, it will actually, actually zap juice from whatever you plug into it. So uh, uh, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake are not recommended with the in-flight power. Uh, <laughs> anyway, nice little gadget. Uh, I, I, I believe it 
should work. If, if this was recommended to me by Derek, Derek's used this before. He loves it. Uh, can't get along without it. And I would have to say that uh, this would become my favorite travel gadget of all time. What airplane seat doesn't have an audio jack? I, I don't know. Oh, this is great! Oh, love it! Awesome! Great find! And if you've got another great, cool, very affordable find uh, for me to, to look at, uh, possibly share with everybody else if it's it's if it is cool enough. By all means, drop me a line, Chris at Perillo.com. I love looking at this kind of stuff, and especially if it's interesting and different and nice. Yeah, I have no problem sharing this. And I, how much was this? I think it was like twenty or thirty bucks. You know, don't tell in-flight power. I probably would have paid twice that amount. That's how frustrated I am with not having power on an airplane. The next step is Wi-Fi on an airplane. And yes, I've been on an airplane with Wi-Fi, and it is cool. It's awesome. Yeah, think of all the things you could do at 30,000 feet. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if you can't think of anything better to do, uh, you're certainly welcome to uh, stop by our chat room anytime, day or night. Oh, snakes on an airplane, of course. Yeah, the snakes on a plane. I'm on that DVD. See if you can find me. I uploaded that video uh, explaining where I was and how I got there uh, in an earlier video. You have to search for that. But even if you're not interested in snakes or, or gadgets, really, if you've got a question about technology, uh, I guess we're here to help. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, uh, sometimes eight days a week, depending on uh, the leap year, of course. Uh, but we only have one URL, uh, one chat room, and that's specifically found at live.perillo.com. Will you later?